putting away your backpacks and turning in your lunch money, please get started on your daily warm-up in your math journal. I have it up here on the whiteboard. Okay. Next to the picture, I want you to please write the fraction that shows which area of each circle is shaded. Okay, it looks like everyone is finishing up with this warm-up. Please raise your hand if you need more time. Alright, it looks like everyone is done, so we will go ahead and go over the answers now. Who can tell me what fraction of the circle is shaded in Figure 1? Okay, if we look at this, out of four sections, three of them are shaded blue. Therefore, three-fourths of the circle is shaded. Now if we look in figure two, out of four sections, one is shaded blue. So one out of the four sections is shaded in this circle. Alright, now as we look at the third figure down here, out of four sections, two are shaded blue. Now, if we look at the circle right here, even though two out of four are shaded, it also looks like half of the circle is shaded. So, therefore, this fraction is the same as saying half of the circle is shaded blue. Alright? Now, after looking at this warm-up, well, we just reviewed fractions. And, even if you didn't realize it, I just introduced equivalent fractions to you. Okay, and that's what we're going to be learning today, is equivalent fractions. We've already experimented with one, and so now we're just going to experiment with some more. into equal parts. And we learned that last week when we talked about fractions. So an example of a fraction is this pizza, which is divided into eight equal parts. Each part is the same size. Okay? Um, now I want everyone to get out your math journals and title a new page, Equivalent Fractions. even though they look different. Okay, so a fraction which is the same amount even though it looks different may be a little confusing at first, but I'll give you some examples using a pizza and hopefully it will help you understand it better. Alright, so like I said, some foods like pie and pizza are already broken into parts which you can share with your friends. So let's quickly review what a fraction is once more. A fraction is made up of two main parts which are separated by a line. So an example would be three fifths. This is part of the main part of the main amount. Okay, this top part is called the numerator, and this again is reviewed from last week, and this bottom number is the denominator. And the numerator is taken out of the denominator, which is the whole amount. Alright, so who, who out there can tell me how to write a whole as a fraction? Alright. 
First, the denominator and numerator are the same number in a, when you write a whole as a fraction. So, if I write 5 out of 5, if the number is the same on the top and the bottom, remember that that's equal to 1. So, if it's the same number on top and bottom, it's equal to 1. Alright, so now that we've done a quick re review of fractions from last week, we're going to actually talk about equivalent fractions now. Remember, an equivalent fraction is a fraction that's equal even though it might look different. Okay, so, um, let's see, we said that equivalent fractions are the same but look different, but where might we see something like this in real life? Okay, a pizza, a pie, um, a Hershey's candy bar, all of those things are things we see in real life, which are already divided into pieces that we can share with our friends. So, we're going to use a pizza today to teach equivalent fractions. Think about this. If you have a pizza, like we do right here, and it's divided into eight slices, and um, you have eight people to share it with, how much pizza would each person get? If you have eight friends, and you have eight slices, if we divide eight by eight, we get one. So, each person would get one slice of pizza. Alright, so, therefore, we have one slice of pizza here, and if each person gets one of these, each person gets one of the eight pieces, therefore, each person gets one eighth of the pizza. Alright? So that was simple enough. Now let's move on to another fraction. Okay. What happens if we have the eight, same eight slices of pizza, but only four friends to share it with? So we have eight slices of pizza. And we're dividing it among four friends. Eight divided by four, we all know that that's two. So each person will get two slices. So we have two slices of pizza right here. Each person gets two slices. All right? So but I have something else to show you. I have this slice of pizza right here, which looks like it fits exactly above the two eights. Alright? And so let's, let's look at this a little closer. If we have two slices of one eighth and we add them together, what does that give us? It gives us two eighths. Okay? But then this slice right here fits onto this pizza and we're going to divide or simplify 2 eighths, and it simplifies into 1 fourth, because 2 goes into itself once, and 2 goes into 8 four times, and therefore we figure out that this slice of pizza is a fourth of the entire pizza pie. 1, 2, 3, and 4. So therefore, 2 slice 2 eighths is equal to 1 fourth. Okay? And so, right here, we have just experimented with one equivalent fraction. They look completely different, but they equal the same amount. Alright, so, now let's look at a different example. <coughs> okay, y'all are all doing so well. Do you have any questions?
seven eight to four one eight. Now, if you have any questions, just let me know. I'll be walking around and monitoring your progress on this worksheet. 